what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're in week seven of screen five shooting out in wilmington north carolina we are at the tail end of when this project is supposed to wrap up filming because we started back in september mid-september now we're uh, at the home stretch by the end of november around november 15 16 or 17th i believe that's when production is supposed to wrap uh, I know a lot of cast members, according to what I've been seeing on Twitter, they've already wrapped up production or they're they've wrapped up filming their parts anyway. Don't know who those actors or actresses are, but there's been some tidbits that have come out recently over the last week or so about Screen 5, Roger L. Jackson's involvement. And basically now another confirmation of what the official title will be for this project. So. I can't wait to see what actually happens. Uh, I know a lot of people were expecting us to get some type of teaser last weekend, this past Saturday on Halloween, expecting something to come out of production from them. I wasn't really expecting anything. I'm on now the Spyglass Media PR list. Nothing got sent out to me about anything regarding that. Not to say that they would have sent us something, especially if it was supposed to be a surprise, but <laughs> jumping right on into things, David Arquette, recently had an interview over the past week or so and he basically confirmed what we already knew and assumed prior to this even becoming official prior to this project even starting production he confirmed that the film isn't going to be called screen five they're just calling it scream and that heart that goes back to what we initially saw on set when they first started filming courtesy of the courtesy of one of the crew members who posted this on their instagram account they posted a picture of the production chair with the title of the film on it and it simply is yes just scream they're not calling it screen five now i would hope that eventually down the road maybe even in the opening sequence when you sit down and look at the movie maybe you'll get something that hints that it's going to be screen five but we as fans of the franchise know that this is screen five we know why they're dropping the five well, some of us do anyway. If you look at the success of Halloween 2018, you'll understand why they're just calling it Scream. They want to try that method out. Because what a lot of people do is they, as you start to go down the line and you add on these numbers, people get turned off by it. So the casual person, they'll see a movie in theater simply titled Scream, mistakenly possibly buy a ticket, assuming it's a remake or something else. And then to their surprise, it's going to be a sequel you can be pissed off as much as you want to now you already bought the ticket and now you're sitting down here watching it but <laughs> jumping into the next thing roger l jackson apparently has not signed on to the project just yet he had a he sat down with a gentleman doing a podcast last week or so i'll leave a link to that podcast down in the description according to what they talked about they talked about this in the very first five minutes first three minutes actually bringing up the fact that he has not been contacted well not contacted bringing up that he has not been brought back to voice ghostface now roger l jackson kind of brushed around he asked him has he seen anything about it and the guy simply responded no i haven't seen anything about it i hope they bring you back basically just making a point over and over again that he hopes roger l jackson does come back roger l jackson kind of fed into what he was assuming that he hasn't seen anything about him being brought back on so it looks like he hasn't been brought back on that's what it looks like I don't think that's true. I think Roger L. Jackson is back. I think that it's just a wait and see at this point with a lot of stuff. Uh, they did it with Sidney, Nev Campbell, and we come to find that Nev Campbell actually might have might have been on board at the same amount of time as David and Courtney. They're just trickling out when they're going to announce these things. I think Roger L. Jackson is back and he's going to be the voice of Ghostface because I don't see anyone else fulfilling this role at, at, at all. Um, and now jumping into what I know you guys want to hear from me, who do I think is going to be the killer and what's going to happen in Screen 5? We have our official cast here. We know we have our trio and then we have Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jack Quaid, Dylan Minnette, Mason Gooding, Kyle Gallner, Jason or Jasmine Brown, Mikey Madison and Marley Shelton. We know play Judy Hicks. Now out of these out of this group, we know that Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera, they'll be playing an on-screen Hispanic Hispanic uh, sibling relation. We know Melissa Barrera will be playing a character either named Sam or Sarah, who's returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes. We know that Jenna Ortega will be playing her sister, who we are under the impression her name is Teresa. I'll go out on the limb and say that Teresa probably is not her name, seeing as how sarah's name isn't actually sarah it seems to be sam so i don't think Teresa is what jenna ortega's character's name will be we know jack quaid will be playing her boyfriend richie 
Uh, or also a name we've been getting tossed around is Ryan. We don't know who any of these other people are playing. But to pick out who I think would be the killer in this, I think a combination of Kyle Gallner, who we all know is from the from that dreadful remake of Nightmare on Elm Street from 2010. Um, I could see him being Ghostface, one of the Ghostfaces, and then Mason Gooding. I can see those two being Ghostface. I can see them being Ghostface. Those are going to be my picks that I stick with. Uh, if not them, definitely a combination of Marley Shelton, Judy Hicks, and somebody else. But I think it's going to be Kyle Gallner and Mason Gooding. I think they're going to shock us and make it those two. Not to say that Kyle Gallner will be shocking, but Mason Gooding, I think, will be a, a big shock to a lot of people, depending on what his actual character is in the film. Um, Mason Gooding is the gentleman you see next to Jenna Ortega there to her to her left or actually her right, our left, if you're looking at the video. Um, and I think he will be Kyle Gallner's partner. And what what role do I see Kyle Gallner playing? If you looked at my Judy Hicks connection to Sidney Prescott theory video, you know that I made a mention of Stu having a younger sibling, younger sibling or something. I think he will be Stu's younger brother. And then just to quickly touch on something before I jump into that. I think Selena Gomez, she will have a role in Screen 5, and I believe what her role will be is she'll be the opening kill, she'll be a part of an opening attack with Jenna Ortega's character, and she'll be one of the sisters that doesn't make it out alive. She'll be the one that dies, and that's where we're going to be left with the with the duo of sisters, Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, because their other sister, Selena Gomez, will die at the beginning in an opening attack that Jenna Ortega survives. That's what I see happening. Uh, We'll get we'll get our first opening duo attack where one person makes it out alive. That'll be a first in the Scream franchise. So Scream 5 already could be making history there. But going back to Kyle Gallner, him being Stu's younger brother, that's what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to get a very detailed backstory about who he is and how he's connected to Stu, how his childhood has been rough, how he's had a horrible upbringing uh, due to what happened to Stu and how his parents reacted to it. And we'll come to find that he was possibly born after Stu. After Stu's death, his parents couldn't cope with it. So they had another child and he always was just living in his in his brother's shadow. He grew to actually resent some things about his life because of the Stab franchise and all these other things that have to do with Stu negatively impacting his life. And he's associating that with, of course, Nev Campbell, um, Sidney Prescott. Gail Weathers, Dewey Riley, and anyone else, these because these other people in his life, they have to have some type of uh, issue with him. Something about these other people that I haven't pinpointed just yet would also be why he's targeting them. Because I honestly see the killers, they're going to have a connection to Billy and Stu, if not both. Someone, somehow, some way, Billy and Stu will be a part of what happens with the killers and their motive. And I see an actual final battle final ending occurring at Stu Mocker's house because based off of everything we've seen and based off of everything that I've noticed certain production members doing online it looks like Stu Mocker's house is going to be one of the things they try to recreate in screen five so I can easily see that being brought back for a another iconic final final ending act in a screen film we go back to the Stu Mocker house and that's where Kyle Gallner and Jason or Mason Gooding will reveal themselves and they'll go over their whole motive and explain to it who do I see being with them in that moment I see Sidney Prescott Jenna Ortega's character Teresa and then Melissa Barrera and let's throw in Gail Weathers I see all four of them being there for that I see all four of them being there for that maybe that's too much uh, maybe that's too many, but I see all four of them being there. That's just me personally. I know Sidney Prescott will factor into it somehow, some way. I honestly think Sidney Prescott will be more along the lines of a Laurie Strode in Halloween 2018 here. We think so far that we won't have much to do with her, but the film very much will have something to do with her. That's what I see happening. I see it happening clear as day. It's kind of, it's not obvious, but it wouldn't be shocking if that's the direction they're going. They're throwing this off, making us think that it's not about her when she'll probably have a lot more screen time than what a lot of people think she will. Because a lot of people already think she won't have that much screen time. 
I think Sydney's gonna get enough screen time in this project. I think we'll see enough of our trio. We'll see enough of the new characters. I hopefully hope we can get everybody fleshed out. I have a theory on who I think Mason, Mason Gooding is, but I wanna save that and let a few other things trickle out about these characters before I share that. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.